You know, with such a battle going on all of the time in our lives, have you ever wished that you could just turn back the clock and live in the days of Jesus? Like, don't you wish that you could just be one of the disciples hanging out with Jesus, walking, talking, experiencing life with Jesus? Like, they must have had it so easy compared to us. They, they could have followed Jesus simply because they could have seen what he did and emulated what he did. They were walking with him and talking with him and, and, and getting to hear his instructions and his guidance all the time. Like how easy it must have been for them to follow Jesus. Now you can imagine uh, how worried the disciples got when Jesus said that he was going to be leaving them. And understandably so. I mean, for the last three years, he had been their teacher, their master, their Lord, their guide for life. Who was going to lead them now? What are they supposed to do? Their whole life was about to shift and their whole direction in life was about to change or so they thought. Who was going to show them the way now? And then in the midst of Jesus saying those things to the disciples that I'm about to go away, here are some words that he says to them in addition. In John chapter 16, verse 7, we find these words. He says, But very truly I tell you, it is for your good that I am going away. Unless I go away, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. He says these words. He says, it is for your good that I go away. How is that even possible? I mean, I wonder that today and the disciples probably had the same question. How could it be better that Jesus goes away? And how could that even be better for us? How is that possible? Well, here's the truth. When Jesus left and he ascended to be with the Father in heaven, he sent a replacement guide in his place. Jesus sent to us the indwelling Holy Spirit as our guide. Listen to this. Listen to what Jesus says about this guide in our lives. In John chapter 14, verse 15, he says, If you love me, keep my commands. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and to be with you forever, the Spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. Skip forward a few verses and look at verse 25. He says, all of this I have spoken while still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. See what Jesus is saying. He says, it's for your good that I go away. Because when I go away, I will send to you no longer just an external guide, which I was, but I will send to you an internal indwelling guide. The term here that he uses is the word advocate. In the Greek, which Jesus would have been using, would have been the word parakaletos, which means a person who is summoned to one's aid. Sometimes we call that a, a helper or a counselor or a guide. Specifically, the words here that Jesus uses, he says, I'm going to send you another guide. So the same kind as the first, which was Jesus himself, but another one, a, a different one. You know, Jesus was their external guide, a guide from the side. But what he's about to send to them, the Holy Spirit, he is going to be our internal guide, which is so much better. You know, if you think about it for a moment, that as the disciples were guided by Jesus, they had to be near him. They had to literally be within an earshot to hear his guidance, to hear his teaching. They had to be within eyesight to see where he was going and what he was doing. And so they had to be with him. So Jesus's influence in some ways was limited to those who were right there present with him. But here's why the Holy Spirit is better. Because the Holy Spirit is always present with us, indwelling us 
internally. The Holy Spirit acts to, to speak to our minds and our hearts and our emotions and our conscience all of the time. And it says that his goal, his job, who is with us all the time, his job is to teach you and remind you of all the things that Jesus spoke and did. This is the role of the Holy Spirit, who is God, who indwells us. His role is to guide me every day, day in and day out, throughout the midst of the battles and throughout the barrage of voices that I hear, he will be my guide. He will help me to distinguish God's voice and God's direction all of the time.